What's happening guys, my name is Nick, content creator at Cinecorp Concepts, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a natural looking chromatic abrasion effect on your footage. For those of you who don't know what chromatic abrasion is, the definition on Google, the material effect produced by the refraction of different wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation through slightly different angles resulting in a failure to focus. It causes color fringes on the and the image produced by uncorrected lenses. Okay, so basically what that looks like is, well, like this. This is actually a really good example, and it kind of, you can kind of see how it splits off the red, the green, the blues, the yellows, all that. It just kind of makes like a, a, a rainbow effect, if you would, what you have. Uh, I, I like the look of it sometimes because it, it kind of adds like a vintage feel to it or like a dreamlike feel. I think one of the best examples of that it's this scene from Tron Legacy. I don't want to show too much of it because I don't want to get this, you know, I don't want to get sued by Disney. Wow, my internet is running super slow today. But like, I just like the way it looks, how it looks like, you know, it looks like a... a Something you can see on VHS, you know. Oh, and there it is. And it looks really nice. Um, I'm going to do my best to try and recreate something like this, but I'm not going to completely do it. Without further ado, let's jump right into it, shall we? Okay, so first of all, what I have is I have my footage. It's already graded and pre comp See? It's already graded and pre comp So I took that pre comp and I put it in this layer. I've already done this before, actually. so I have a bit of a reference. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to duplicate this footage three times. So I'm going to go Control D, or, yeah. Well, uh, twice. I'm going to duplicate it twice. So we have three different iterations of the footage. So next thing I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go to uh, Channel. I'm going to go Set Channels. And now that I think about it, I could have just added this to the first iteration and then duplicated it. But... So we have the set channels in all three layers, and then we're going to go down to distort, and we are going to add optics compensation to all three layers. So by now you should have set channels and optics compensation in all three layers. I'm going to rename these. I'm going to go red, blue, or our red, green, and blue. That way I'm not super confused with it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the red layer and I'm going to turn off the green and the blue from the set channels. I'm going to go to the uh, green layer, I'm going to turn off the red and the blue, and I bet you can guess what I'm going to do with this one. Yep, I'm going to turn off the red and the green, that way I only have the blue, but what's wrong with this? But can you please tell me what's wrong with this? Obviously, it's just the red. That's an easy fix. You go to your uh, transfer modes and you change them all three to add. Easy peasy. If you do not see this right here, uh, you can do two things. You can just right click, go to blending modes, whatever, and then go to add. Or you can click down here to where it says toggle switches slash modes and just kind of toggle them back and forth. All right, and then we're going to go um, this is where I need to start looking at my reference. Um, okay, uh, you're going to go to your optics compensation on the red channel, and you're going to check reverse lens distortion and change the field of view to 12.6. Oh, not 1.6, that would not be good. 12.6. Seeing it kind of slightly stretched out. Here, I'll show you. Just watch the footage. It kind, kind of stretched out right here. You're starting to see the chromatic abrasion, and then you're going to go to the green channel, and you're going to check the reverse lens distortion again, and you're going to put that. Uh, you're going to put that as 21.9, and you can play around with this. This is just the. This is what works for my footage. Um, 21.9, and then you're going to go to blue, 
and I believe the blue was 29.8. The blue, you're going to go to reverse lens distortion, 29.8. And again, just play around with this. Whatever works for your footage, works for your footage. Okay. Um, but if you look carefully, here I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to go 200%. Oh, that's a little too far. 100%. But I'm going to go full. Look, where we go? If you look down here, you can kind of see the chromatic abrasion, but if you look on like natural chromatic abrasion, it kind of blends, like there's kind of a blur between each color. And with this, there really isn't a blur. This is what's different. Like from all the tutorials that I've seen how to do this, this is kind of one thing that I just didn't like about it, is it just looked artificial, it looked fake looked like something uh, you would see. So we're going to fix that. What we're going to do is we're going to take uh, oh, oh, not that one. Uh, we're going to take the lake footage we're going to put that on top. Another iteration of that. Oh. And what that's going to do, what we're going to do next is we're going to come down, we're going to click on that uh, we're going to go to Ellipse Tool, and we're going to double click on that to make a nice, round uh, ellipse over the footage. Nice mask. And since that's on normal, that's good. Okay, and then with that mask, i got to look at my reference again, um, we're going to change the expansion to negative 51 pixels, and again, play with this however you like and then this is going to be 269, whatever works for you. All this is doing is adding like a nice blend of the, uh, the lake footage and the chromatic aberration footage. Now we're going to click on the red layer, we're going to right click and add an adjustment layer. Uh, we're going to rename this blur and we're going to come up to blur and we're going to add a directional blur. So blur and sharpen, directional blur, we're going to add that to the adjustment layer. Then we're going to make the direction 90 degrees and the blur length 15. And again, this is what works for my footage. You guys play around with it, find what works for yours. But as you can see, ba -ba -ba, let's go. Where? And I'm going to zoom in 200% again. As you can see, it adds a nice blur to that chromatic abrasion right there. It just kind of blends those different colors together without you know, making them one. So next thing, as you can see right here on the edge though, we're getting kind of like a, a black a black bar almost, like it clips off right there. That's an easy fix though. What we're gonna do, we're gonna come down here, right click and put, we're gonna select all of the layers, right click and click pre-compose and we're gonna name this uh, Chrome Whatever. And we're gonna go back to like two. And we're gonna go here and transform. And we're gonna slightly ooh, not that slightly. Let's let's go 102. I'm gonna scale it up ever so slightly. That way you get rid of that black. And ta-da! That is the tutorial. Uh, yeah. So if you guys like what you see, please comment down below. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. If you have ideas for future videos, comment down below. Until next time, please return to your regularly scheduled binge watching of PewDiePie.